to adjust the valve clearances in here we need to first determine really which way the flywheel turns so as you can see on the top where my hand is here if you look from where your pull cord comes out from with the cover on it comes out of this side and actually if you pull the pull cord the flywheel would turn this side just a quick note that I've actually removed the spark plug before I've done this just so it's easy to get in got the cover off as well so turning the, turning the flywheel the way it would normally go which is that way if you, like I say look at the pull cord if it comes out of this way and you normally pull it and it goes around this way you're going the right way now you need to determine that before you try and find top dead center now for people who don't know finding top dead center is basically where the piston in here is at the front of the engine if you like in simple terms and to do that you can rotate the flywheel until the piston comes up to the top and that's how you set the clearances on these valves so to find top dead center we we'll just need to know to turn the flywheel the right way so now we've got the cover out of the way and we can see what we're doing I've also removed the spark plug you can see here we have the valves now on this side near the carburetor we have the intake valve and on this side here we have the exhaust valve now what happens when I turn the flywheel the correct way is if you keep an eye on the valves here you'll see that they start to open that's opening going in because it opens up on the inside and then close again now that's the exhaust valve opening and closing and as you can see on the other side that's your intake valve opening and closing now what happens at this point is the piston inside will come up to top dead center but it will come to top dead center on two strokes the intake and the exhaust stroke as well and what we need to find is top dead center basically on the intake or compression stroke so once you've determined your valves you need to set it on this model with a cam on from the intake valve at top dead center now it all might sound very confusing but all you need to really determine is your intake valve so turning the flywheel the correct way which is that way I can see that that's the exhaust valve opening and closing that's the intake valve opening and closing and basically when that comes up to the top that would be when the spark plug fires and that's where we need to set the valve clearances for this machine 